And that's the whole story about stamp collection. Uh, now on to the lighter side. We're going to be visiting our man on the street correspondent. You know and love him, and I know and love him. Uh, my twin brother, Francis O'Leary, uh, who is doing a segment we call Ground Hoggle Warming. Uh, Francis, how are you doing? Yes, Fraser, I am on location here at Cameron Run International Park in Alexandria, Virginia. Francis, it looks like you have one of those telephone microphones on. Where's the uh, rather expensive microphone that you were issued by the studio? Um, you know, uh, thank you for the generosity of that uh, very, very elaborate and expensive microphone. I had my own, so I just decided to use this one. Uh, Francis, that was a... Uh, you know, this is what happens every time we send you out on location. Uh, you, you, you sell the material, you, you take the money, the travel money, and go to other locations. That, that's not acceptable. It's, not, it's, it's unprofessional. It makes me look bad. Let's move on to happier topics. Um, these, t tomorrow is February 2nd, Groundhog Day, as you know. And we are not here to just observe uh, that furry meteorologist, but we are here to take matters into our own hands. As you know, uh, the groundhog is tasked by God uh, with predicting uh, and determining whether we have an early end to winter. Well, this year uh, we are not going to leave it to chance as to whether he or she sees his or her own shadow. As you can see behind me, we have an elaborate light set up that will ensure that the groundhog uh, does not see his shadow. Uh, when he emerges from the uh, hole, his lair, uh, we will be shining light in such a way uh, where the shadow is, uh, there is no shadow, irrespective of his own inclinations. Fr Francis, correct me if I'm wrong, but if you put light on the, uh, on the hole, it's going to make it more likely, not less likely, that the, uh, that the groundhog is going to see a shadow and we're going to have uh, six more weeks of winter. Um, uh, I had thought of that, yes, Frazier. Uh, yes, I had thought of that. So we do, in fact, have a backup plan. And I think it's, frankly, I've gone six of one, half dozen of the other as to whether that should be the uh, front-up plan. Um, and that is this. Uh, let's say the lights don't work, as you're pointing out that they may not. Uh, the groundhog comes out of his hole. I grab him, and I take this uh, blindfold, and I put it on his eyes, over his eyes. I'm assuming they have eyes. Uh, eyes, and boom, no shadow. Thank you. Um... Francis, this is a wild animal, you know. Uh, this is, uh, you know, bad things are probably going to happen if you grab it and blindfold it. We also have a, a third backup plan, and that involves just grabbing a heavy rock uh, and, and bludgeoning the groundhog with it. But, you know, I have, this is a very powerful animal, Frazier, and uh, the idea of, I don't know what kind of uh, apocalyptic consequences I might be, it might be invoking. Um, so, I'm really hoping that the light thing, or maybe the blindfold thing, kind of does it. Well, Francis, why are you doing all this in the first place? What's the, what's the point here? Frazier, uh, if you look around, I mean, it's snowy, which is nice, but it's cold, and, and I'm sort of tired of winter. And uh, as you know, uh, we want our agents to go out there and start selling homes and putting buyers into homes. And we just think that it would be better if uh, winter ended. So this isn't about us and some sort of uh, petty uh, vendetta against a groundhog. Uh, Francis, thanks again. Uh, as always, a relatively interesting uh, segment and a fairly ambitious plan to control the weather by either uh, thwarting, abducting, or potentially destroying the groundhog. Thanks a lot, Francis. Uh, we'll look forward to talking with you soon. Absolutely, Frazier. Thank you so much for your support, as always. And uh, if possible, it would be great if we could just forget about that microphone. Happy Groundhog Day, everyone. Go give your extraordinary agent a kiss.